What's up guys and welcome to another video and today we're going to create a film score inspired I'm a piano beat in Apple Studio. So I'm going to try to add some unique melody elements and I combine it with some amazing I'm a piano drums. So let's get started. So first of course we're going to adjust the BPM. So let's say 112 in this case. I first want to start off with a simple chord progression. So I want to start off with some strings, which really add some ambience to the beat and add that film score vibe. So I'll definitely leave some unique elements within the Contact 7 plugin. So let's say the strings ensemble. So let's open up this one. And then let's make it sound a little bit softer. So right now let's open up the piano row. And we're going to create this beat in G sharp minor. So a lot of you guys are asking me how to start off creating your melody. It could be very difficult as a beginner, but it's basically just following the same step and just messing around until it sounds good. So don't make it difficult in any way, except you add the notes which are in the scale. So for example, let's start off with this G, which is also our root note. So we're creating this in G sharp. And then you just count the notes. So G is the first note. So we add a simple minor progression. So it's one, two, three. So this is the third one. Then we have four and five. And then a simple way to add more power to this chord progression is adding one note, one octave lower. So from G4 to G3. And this one could be a little bit more advanced. We're going to add one note on top. So let's use the note which is in the middle, which is B. Add this one right here. Sounds amazing. So right now, just copy it. So right now, we're just going to count again. So we have three notes within the scale down. As you can see, all the notes still fit the highlighted crit or skill. Both go perfect together. So let's just copy the first one again. And then I want to create something which goes upwards. So right now pick this E. Right now it could be a little bit more difficult. So as you can see right now, this G is not within the skill. Easiest way how to fix this is just pick the next note, which is the upper or lower one. So in this case, let's say we pick the upper one. That's also it. So I'll just copy the first one again. And now we want to pick the note within the G and E, which is F in this case. And then this one is also not in the scale. So let's say we pick the upper again. And this is our chord progression. So we've already created this beautiful string melody. And then we're not going to tweak this anymore. We're just going to move on to the next element. For now, let's just clone the string one. And let's say we add a violin, which just hits one note. Let's say this one. In this case, let's pick the B node. Adding something like this always adds some texture to the melody. So now we're going to add a unique element from, let's say, Augmented Voices, this one. And the stock one just sounds crazy. I'm just going to make it sound very dry. Make sure we add another reverb. So let's say we just add the violin note one octave lower from B5 to B4. Let's lower down the volume a little bit. So we're now thinking about adding a guitar. So let's see. So let's use contact again. There is this cool electric mint guitar within contact this one. So let's say open and let's use the sound preset. Let's add a simple rhythm. Like this one. And then make sure to randomize a little bit sounds. So it sounds a little bit more humanic. And right now let's say we add a brass. So let's add the Jep 8 V4. And let's say we add a brass. So I'm going to search for something. So found this high brass preset. Which is a typical saw. And then let's add it at for example. We just added that root note, so simple like this. And now we're gonna add a bass line, which is also crucial when it comes to those beats. So let's open up Analog Lab 5. So I found this preset. Let's remove the ticking sound like this. And this is gonna be our bass sound. So we're just gonna draw in the root notes, which are G. 
as simple as it is. So right now I'm not quite done with all the melody layers. So right now let's let's add a top melody, which we could use when the log drum is coming in. And later on I'm gonna add the log drum. So I'm gonna add pigments, this one. So found this boards of Selena, this one, which sounds pretty cool. So let's add the melody. So going from G, E to That's it, that's it. So let's copy it over. So perfect element which you could use when the log drum is coming in. But still, I think I'm missing something. So we're gonna add another melody layer. So let's say we open up the DX7, this one, which is an amazing plugin, by the way. Let's do add something like flute. Flute meets keys, this one. For example, let's copy those notes and paste them into this one. Then let's select the arpeggiator tools. That sounds really cool. So guys, I think I finished up adding the melodies. I've added seven layers, which is a lot. But right now let's add the drums and then we're gonna create the arrangement. And by adding all those elements, which go in my opinion, very well together, all playing them together is just too much. But when we use them in the arrangement, it could create something really unique. But before I continue with the tutorial, I just wanted to devote some time to these headphones. Those are the Focal Listen Pro, and I've been using them for over two months now, and I really enjoy using these headphones. They are some closed back over ear headphones. The bolt quality is just very solid and they come at a very interesting price point. The fit is also very nice. Those ear pads are really soft. So that's something which I really like about those headphones when I'm wearing them for a couple of hours when mixing something or mastering a beat. And they cover a wide range of frequencies from five hertz to over 40,000 kilohertz. So you don't have to worry about missing out on any frequencies. And they're also very light. There are just 280 grams, which is not that much. And I think they're just very light and easy to wear. So just another product, which I really like to use. So I will put a link down in the description and a big thanks to Focal for sending over these headphones. Just another amazing product when it to making music. So let's move on with the tutorial. So first let's start off with a kick. Or right, now let's add some snares. So we're going to keep it as simple as possible. So right now let's add some shaker loops. And then let's add some swing, 20%, something like that. We're just gonna add a variety of snares in this case. So let's add some more. And then let's add this rim snare layer and we're gonna add a little bit of attack time, 2%. So let's add a simple shaker. So that's also it, keep it so simple. Now we're gonna add some mid percussion. So some bongos, some congas. So I feel like adding this one, every first step. And let's say we add another tom. This one which contains a lot of mid and low frequencies. which adds some more groove. And let's add a percussion, which adds a little bit more top frequencies, so some high frequencies. That's it, that all sounds so amazing. So let's link it to the mixer. Well now I'm gonna mix all those elements. Some elements are just too loud. So I'm just reduce some because right now there is a lot going on. So I'm still not finished adding the drums. So let's add this one, another high percussion, which is following just another rhythm. I think it's finished right now. So we're now gonna move on to the fun part, which is the log drum. And for this video, I'm gonna create a log drum, 
which consists out of that typical log drum from the fruit to the extent, but we're going to layer another sub bass. Sometimes I hear an amp piano beat and there is just not enough power on the log drum. And this is really caused by a lack of low frequencies. So in this case, we're going to fix that. I'm going to show you how simple it is. You could also do this by using all stock plugins, but it's basically the same process. But in this case, I'm going to use Serum because I think the sounds which come from Serum just sound so amazing. So let's open up the Fruity DX10. And if you like the sounds which I'm using in this tutorial, make sure to check out the Emma Piano Paradise drum kit. The link will be in the description. And also include some amazing log drum presets. So open up log drum, log drum presets. So thirdly, log drum presets. So let's say we'll pick a random one, 19 which is a very short one. We could definitely use this. So I've listened to this loop for a while and I came up with this. So let's start right here. That's it. Very simple, still very simple. Crank up the volume. Let's turn this one up one octave and we're going to create a simple roll. So select half a step. Step, or let's say one fourth of a step like this and let's paint in this one and then drag them up manually so they not sound too generic so the second section sounds like this so of course we're going to split by channel right now and then let's uh, let's drag it in all the way let's add that typical amma piano effect this one for example first let's start off with just the the strings so this will be the arrangement. So right now I'm still finishing up the log drum section. So right now let's add that second layer to the log drum. So we're going to open up Serum and we're just gonna pick a simple sine wave. So analog, let's say the analog DB sine. Then we're gonna create a little bit of an envelope. So it's the volume is going down a little bit following this form. And then let's copy the exact notes within Serum. So right now we've already added this. adds way more power to the log drum and we're gonna open up the effects and you could just add some distortion. Doesn't matter which plugin, I like to use this one, a little bit of drive. Oh, that's it. And then when adding the distortion, you add a lot of high frequency. So you just link it to the mixer, then you select the sub and then you just add another EQ, doesn't matter which one, and then you create a high cut or low pass, and then you just remove the high frequencies because you don't need them when adding sub basses. So I think that's it when it comes to finishing up the lock drum. So guys, I've just extended the arrangement a little bit, mixed it, and let's listen to the result yet. So first still, we're starting off with the strings. I think it's also the main part of the whole beat. I think the drums worked out pretty well. Guitar coming in. Added a little bit of reverb. Don't need too much processing. Still simple. We have a transition like he right here. Switch it up even more. the log drum is playing together with the comp aggression.
So that's it. I tried to create something unique and add some film score inspired elements to this beat. So this beat still isn't finished, but I think I showed you the idea on how to create a film score inspired and piano beat. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also make sure to check out the Amma Piano Paradise drum kit if you enjoyed the sounds which I've used. The link will also be in the description. And make sure to check out the Foco headphones. I really enjoy using them. Highly recommend them. And with all this being said, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great weekend and create some awesome beats. See you.